Hello, I'm Tay on the TAM BOTC channel, and we're here. I'm recording on my phone. I know it's going to be crappy quality, but this is the only way I can record my Xbox. And I'm going to show you uh, if Nakey Jakey is right about like NPCs. I've had different encounters I've actually recorded and stuff. I do realize that sometimes these are very uh, spread out, but still interesting nonetheless. So we have this one. Uh, this was a weird, weird one, but it was an interesting encounter, if it'll load. Okay. Alright, if it'll load, I said. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna restart it. Let's do, see if this one will play. Man, these are just, like, being stupid today, aren't they? I was expecting them to be a little bit more cooperatively, but I guess they hate being recorded for whatever reason. <laughs> Don't there you go. Okay. So I caught these two in a conversation. This, this guy on the right here just walked up and started a conversation with him, and he got people in the store. As well as you can walk up to this guy here and just, like, start dialogue with him like any other store owner. And they have questions that you can ask and other options, even quests sometimes. Or most of the time, it seems, in this game. So that's one. So th there, there's that stuff is not really found much in Cyberpunk. As well as they have the the frickin' zoom in thing. Let's see if this one will work. This was a weird one for me. Is this one gonna work? There we go. So I just ran across these UC guys and they were in front of the... They're like, yeah, look at what they're saying below. But the robots are just chill over here. And then they just kind of start... <laughs> They just kind of start battle with one another, and I wasn't sure who to shoot at until they started attacking me. <laughs> so, this was an interesting encounter I haven't had. So, yeah. I didn't know what to think otherwise. And you have different encounters in space. You got people who pull you over to ask you questions, or maybe the eclipse. Uh, I like to ironically call up because I accidentally mispronounced their names. I called them epileptics or whatever. And me and my friend found it hilarious. <laughs> All right. I took some pictures of like different planets. I liked the look of there's like a purple planet. I love this, this planet right here. Cause I always see those, um, African photos, even nostalgia critics showed where there's like a red desert and I love that look. It's so beautiful. Of course, you can't really tell on here, though, because it looks like crap otherwise. <laughs> then there's a purple planet as well. I don't know where that is. Yeah, I can't remember where that is. Yeah, but I wanted to show, I guess, this clip. Wildlife will actually be, like, interactive and lively. And we're about to go into Starfield. I'm probably going to have a hard time trying to play it, though, with one hand while trying to record. Uh, I wish I had something to set this up on. I could use this, but I have to move my bed for that. So, yeah, this is, this is, what is going on here? Let's restart it. Come on. Anyways. I want to go to that planet, by the way. I use cloud gaming, so I have to, because I still have an Xbox One. I didn't give a crap about... This is kind of the same deal with a lot of stuff. Like, I, I, I kind of got sick of, like, buying multiple consoles. Ah, wait time limit. But uh, I'll, I'll sit here and talk. I think there are still... Uh, you'll probably see with, like, Neon... Uh, you can still see characters walk up to each other or form groups where they have conversations with one another. Matter of fact, General Sam has showed that on his video. General Sam is half right and wrong about randomly being attacked. You have to join the gang 
in order for random to attacks to actually happen. So you will be attacked by the other gang members. So yeah, uh, it really depends on like uh, where you're attacked and stuff. But it can happen. And then there's, uh, of course, NPCs all have their own idle animations. Like if you go to a base that has pirates and you're friends with them, or you're in neon once again, you'll see people either carrying luggage or other things, a cup of coffee, or maybe they'll have a different, different sit-down animations, or they'll sleep in a bed, or they'll walk up and chat with one another in either groups of two or three or so. That that stuff still happens. It still does the Oblivion thing. Now the next thing is uh, what Nakey Jakey said about the enemy NPCs. I don't think this one bothers me as much. And yeah, the enemy is having more health and being bullet sponges when you go up to higher levels is stupid. <laughs> but I don't think that that is always the way... That everybody is going to play so people are probably most likely going to play on the normal difficulties and such uh, so it's your choice of gameplay still but I understand the criticism I just don't entirely agree with it because once again I think the youtuber that made the video I can't remember his name was he Javi or something G See, I can't remember his name, but he made a video uh, titled, Is Starfield's Exploration uh, That Bad? Or As Bad As They Say. And he also sent a comment to Nakey Jakey on Twitter, too. Uh, basically, similar thing to what I'm kind of saying now. All right, we start this. Level 53, that's how long I've been playing. If you can even see that, it doesn't look like you can. It says it says 4 days, 18 hours, and 29 minutes. My TV's at a weird angle right now. I was trying to adjust it earlier, and it uh, is at an angle right now. So uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, you can kind of see my level right there at the bottom right there. Level 53. All right, we're going to go to the purple planet. I think it's above the Crick system, or is it, what is that system called? I'm going to be playing with one hand, so, yeah. I'm going to let my companion do the work right now. I got, um, what's her name, Andrea as my companion. And, like, uh, store orders and stuff, I'm probably going to go show you um, interactions on Neon, and then go to a planet and try and engage in some combat. Uh, maybe even go to a wildlife planet with some uh, aliens. Ooh. The audio is a little weird right now. I'm hearing the game having a little bit of trouble trying to chug along. Yeah. That is mostly cloud. Yep. There we go. Yep. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right. So, yeah, that, was, that happens, but not as often as you would think. All right. And it is hard to do this with one hand, so where was the purple planet? I think it was above this system somewhere. It's not Bardeen. Can't really s see those because they're in the frickin' way. It's cricks. Pretty sure it was above it somewhere. Okay. I'd have to look on YouTube again for it. Is that it? That looks familiar. There it is. Murfid, that's the name. We're gonna pick a different landing zone. I love this planet. I hope to make a outpost on this planet. I know you can't tell it's purple, but I freaking love this planet. Just because of the purple shade, it feels so different from everything else. And I should probably find a planet with the uh, wildlife. Sorry that you're getting these crappy videos. It's what I can do. It's what I can manage for right now. All right, so I want to find 
Remember, I'm playing with one hand, so this is going to be a little awkward for me. Okay, we got a structure over there. I hear a ship landing uh, over there. I'm guessing that's civilians. I want enemies. Look at this planet. There is a lot of running in between. <laughs> But you play the game the way you want to. I was accidentally moving it to part of the left there. You can see I scanned some stuff here, but not much. But like uh, earlier, I went and fought some Varun. So how's your day? <laughs> All right. Wait, why is there another meter thing? Is there something behind it? Let's see, what is that? Oh, there's something behind it. What is this structure? I think I've seen one of these structures, but I don't remember much. Oh, deserted robotics lab. I just don't remember the pillars sticking up. So many of them. Anyways. Alright, looks like a landing site. So if it's a robotics lab, does that mean there's no Varun here? He was saying that enemies kind of just stand there and let you shoot them. I guess sometimes, but like sometimes they don't know you're there. Like I've had enemies that didn't know I was there and were looking like they wanted to do combat. Yeah, not seeing much for enemies right now. So we might have gotten a little unlucky here with uh, trying to find some opportunities of combat. Huh. Yeah, I can't find anybody here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's pirates. Don't want to hurt my feet. Hello. See, they have different sitting animations and stuff. Yeah, they got different sitting animations and such. You got the robot patrolling. That guy's leaning against the railing there. You got a turret. I saw a guy over here somewhere. Oh, hello. This guy looks like he's ready for combat. And every time you walk up to somebody, they have dialogue to say. This guy looks ready for combat, too. Okay, so they probably would have attacked me if I wasn't uh, with them. Uh, yeah, they still have interesting... They have different poses and stuff. And you see in, like, Neon, I'm about to go to... kind of want to go to a planet that has wildlife. But just know that, like... Uh, wildlife will definitely interact with you. It'll either be skittish, uh, run away, or kind of stay there. I actually do have another video where a they can be territorial as well. I should show that video. Let's see. I think they're down in volume two. Sorry if the quality is bad. Once again, I'm just Showing, is this entire world? I think this entire world is water. Wait for a loading screen. These loading screens really aren't that long, but you will see a lot of them if you do it, uh, if you focus on fast traveling everywhere. So of course. All right. So we walked through Neon. We already got a lady holding like a tablet or something. What is that guy holding? Oh, he's holding something to drink. Tablet. That person's got a luggage. See, there's people standing here talking. There's like four people. I said like two or three. So you can have you can have more people. Apparently Todd Howard's voice can be heard at one of these. As well as a Todd Howard character. You got people leaning against railings. I, I think I see another group of people talking. Two people talking over there. There's another group of three talking over there. 
person sitting down, they're just getting up now, pulled out a tablet. This person pulled out something to drink and stopped leaning up against that thing. Got the cops just kind of walking around patrolling. Let's see what this does. Okay. They have different... That person has like a shopping bag. Oh, and they went to sit down. Uh, their feet are kind of being weird. Oh, I... Oh, there's Todd Howard's voice. I'm hearing it right now. You might not be hearing it, but I can hear it. What is this person doing? Just kind of crouching here. What are you doing? Let's see if, uh, is it Epside? I think it's Epside. That person's got their unique sitting animation. Let's go to Epside. I know you can't hear the game. I'm the only one hearing the game, and we did the same thing with, uh, I usually have my volume down, and my friend is the same because... He doesn't want to bother his mother, <laughs> uh, and I don't want to bother my roommate with the loud sound, so I mostly have my stuff through uh, my headset. Yes, I'm going to walk on by. So I got more people walking around here. Let's see if I can run into... I'm going to let Andrea take care of it if we do. By the way, that's my ship. Spoiler. <laughs> it is a Starborn three so we got more people walking around these cities do feel big by the way and there are ways of traversing them by the way without having to go through doorways i found out with atlas city or atlantis city or whatever it's called is this one of the areas i sometimes run into this is one of the areas i sometimes run into thugs let's see if there's another another one around here I'm worried about jumping, I would jump around that thing, but um, being that I'm playing with one hand, I don't think that would work out. We got people here. Yeah, they do walk out of the the groups of people, too. They go do their own thing. And you do see people sleep occasionally. There are recycled NPCs. I've cleared... Oh, that person appeared, so that's that's a mistake. <laughs> Hello. Okay, it's an employee. Got that person leaning against the wall. All right, trying to see if I get attacked. What is this guy doing? He's just kind of standing there. Okay, we got dead end. I don't think going up the stairs really goes anywhere I need to go. So I think this is, yeah, that just leads to the market. Huh, I'm not having anybody attack me. Maybe they have uh, times that they're supposed to respawn, but I have been attacked out here. Matter of fact, I don't know where their bodies have gone. <laughs> Usually their bodies are there, so I'm guessing uh, they disappeared. Yeah, I've especially been attacked through here. Because there were all sorts of those guys in the armor I'm wearing. Let me see if I can show you. It's the outfit. These guys? Yeah, and the fishware. I've been attacked by a ton of those guys after joining the gang. And they would attack me down this alley, or over here, or just spread out other places. But uh, today, it seems like they are not around to attack me. Maybe they know better than to attack me today. <laughs> so, but just know that that will happen. But for right now, it's not happening to me. We got the Bayou Plaza. All right, I want to go to one last place. Oh, you weren't meant to see that. All right, I want to go to a inhabited planet. And what is this? Savannah. How much fauna? Let's see. Just see fauna. It says two. I want a little more than two. Um, we'll do it anyway. I just had a notification on my phone. I see those little dinosaur guys. And I've put plenty of time into cyberpunk as well. 
Probably not as much time. Oh, this planet's actually kind of... I like the gr hue of green. That's nice. And those trees remind me of the ones from... Um, oh, I'm having some streaming problems. Remind me of the ones from Morrowind. Got mushroom trees. That's cool looking. Oh, I'm having trouble trying to walk over this. I saw wildlife, though. Where did they go? Hey. Where did they go? Did they walk over here? Oh, I see a landing port. Maybe we can find some human enemies. Let's see. Should we go over there? Or is there another place I can... I am not seeing another place I can go. I don't know if I want to go 1,000 meters away. I think I want to stick with the 600, if anything. Oh, that's an anomaly. Okay. So, might not be able to find human enemies here. I like the hue of green on this planet, though. It's really nice looking. I already wasted most of my outposts. Don't worry, I'll be able to get more once I uh, level up that stuff. Let's see. I saw animals, but where the crap did they go? Huh. Do you saw them too, right? I swear, I saw freaking animals. Was oh, this like a giant cactus? It's like a giant cactus. Those are some big ass thorns. Where's some of the wildlife? I swear I saw something run by. Oh, I I saw that movement. Yeah, there's there's movement over there. I want to catch up with it. What is it? Who are you? Oh, is it these little... Oh, it is. So you see, these creatures are a bit skittish. Yeah. I swear I saw something a little bigger than them. They're all traveling in a group. They're a little skittish and such, but... Yeah, they, they're, they're fine. They're chill with me otherwise. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any other life. I could literally scan all those guys and just probably complete my scanner for them. But uh, I wanted to find some bigger life that would attack me. I should find that Terramorph planet. <laughs> I need to find that eventually anyways, because I want to fight the Terramorphs there. They're freaking tough. Alright, uh, I think I'm gonna call it there. So I think Nakey Jakey's half right about the NPCs, but they still, they still attack you from time to time. And yeah, I mean, the stuff that Bethesda does is outdated, but it's still charming, and there's still charm and uh, uh, personality and stuff to get from it. We still love it for different reasons. I mean, why are games like Skyrim and uh, Oblivion and such so timeless to so many people? Why do so many people still love those games? Even Morrowind. But yeah, um, I guess we're not going to find people. Oh wait, it's Science Outpost. We could go there. I'm sure we'd find people there. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the the NPCs are different for different players, or maybe there is legitimately... Whoa! What the frick? Why is everything so green like that? There's like kind of a sunset over there. What the hell? You see this, bruh? That is weird. Okay, we got a science outpost. Enemy enemies, though. Or is it more, uh, oh. Hello. Got somebody working at this thing. 
So he's gone up the stairs here. I'm having a bit of frames because, uh, as you know, frickin' cloud streaming is weird. This is cool, though. Look at this frickin' place at night. It's like, it's almost like Splinter Cell night vision goggles. That's weird. Looks even... Man, that is really green. And I like that kind of hue of, like, orangish red in the distance, like the sunrise. That looks dope, man. Oh, the green's starting to disappear, and I think the sun is starting to rise. Oh, it's starting to rise from that direction. Looks beautiful, though. Let's try to look at it without that <laughs> set of lights. Oh, I see a tower over there, too. But yeah, um, I think Nanky Jakey's half right, half wrong. I think there are still things that make these NPCs... Uh, interesting and doing their own things. There's enough going on there. But I do think they need to somewhat update them as as Bethesda moves on to the next Elder Scrolls game. I think they do really have to do some things to push uh, the boundaries with NPCs and dialogue and all that. Even though they did a pretty good job with dialogue in this game. Like, you walk into a store, you talk to any NPC person, and you have interesting DLC, like, not DLC, uh, dialogue with them. Oh, and this guy, by the way, if you do a quest for quest givers, I had, a, like, an outpost, civilian outpost or something, and you complete it for them, they will thank you and probably reflect different dialogue that you help them. So there's that, too. I can see the moon over there in the distance. My phone's about to die, by the way, so... There's that. Let's see if I can find recent captures. There's another capture I wanted to find. Man, everything is being so freaking slow today. Maybe I'll just end it here. Actually, I need to quick save. My friend Dave's going to be on in a bit. He's taking a shower, so I might do the same. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I love the Varun armor. It's probably my favorite spacesuit in the game, as well as I love that other set that uh, Andrea is wearing. I do love the Mantis armor as well. That's cool, as well as most of the legendary stuff I've seen. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless, uh, even though the quality is terrible. I hope you don't mind, nonetheless, it's slowly been turning nighttime as we go. But I'll see you guys next time. I just wanted to show, excuse me, a few things. I wish I could record this more properly for the channel, but Xbox doesn't have that YouTube uh, recording thing anymore. I wish they would do that again, where you could live stream to YouTube. Yeah, and that's it. You have a nice, awesome day or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.